Is there really an Easter beagle? Linus tells his friends the Easter bait is coming with beautifully colored eggs for everyone. The Peanuts gang is skeptical. Is there really an Easter beagle? Peanuts. Meet the Easter Beagle by Charles M. Schultz and Vicki Scott. It's almost Easter, and Peppermint Patty is upset. She wants to show her friend Marcy how to color Easter eggs. But Marcy cooked all the eggs she bought. How can I teach Marcy how to color Easter eggs without any eggs to color? Peppermint Patty says to Charlie Brown and Sally. And I don't have any money to buy more. Linus overhears this conversation and tells Peppermint Patu and Marcy not to worry. You don't have to color any Easter eggs, he says. The Easter Beagle is going to take care of that. What do you mean, Marcy says. On Easter Sunday, the Easter Beagle gives beautifully colored eggs to all the good little kids, Linus says. Did you hear that, sir? Marcy says to Peppermint Patty. We have nothing to worry about. L wouldn't be so sure, Sally sags. Sally remembers waiting with Linus on Halloween night for the Great Pumpkin to arrive. They waited all night, and the Great Pumpkin never came. Even Linus's sister Lucy doesn't believe him. I'm not taking any chances, she says. I'm going to color Easter eggs and hide them myself. And you know who's going to find them all? Me. I'm telling you, you're wasting your time, Linus says. The Easter Beagle is coming with colored eggs for all the kids. Keep dreaming, little brother, Lucy says. In the meantime, I'll be hiding some eggs. Marcy is really curious about the Easter Beagle, especially since it's her fault that she and Peppermint Patty have no eggs to color. What does the Easter Beagle look like? She asks Linus. The Easter Beagle is always smiling and happy, and he loves to dance. He'll probably dance right over to you as he hands you your colored Easter egg, Linus tells her. Don't listen to him, Marcy, Peppermint Patty sags. Then, she turns to Linus. Please stop telling my friends your wild stories, she says. But Linus stands his ground. The Easter Beagle is coming, he says. Just wait and see. It is finally Easter morning. Peppermint Patty and Marcy have been up for hours, but there's no Easter Beagle in sight. But wait, just when everyone thinks Easter is ruined, the kids spot something. It's a Beagle, and he's smiling and dancing, and has a big basket filled with colored eggs. It's him, Linus gasps. It's the Easter Beagle. The Easter Beagle dances merrily over to Peppermint Patty, and Marcy, and Sally, and Woodstock, and Lucy. He gives them all a beautiful Easter egg. But... When the Easter Beagle gets to Charlie Brown, his basket is empty. Charlie Brown just shrugs his shoulders. It figures, he says. Lucy looks at her Easter egg. It looks awfully familiar. Then she realizes it's one of the eggs she colored herself. Some Easter Beagle, she says. He just gave me my own egg. She marches over to Snoopy's doghouse, ready to fight with the Easter Beagle. I know you took my Easter eggs, Lucy shouts. What have you got to sag for yourself? But the Easter Beagle surprises Lucy with a big kiss. How can she stay mad at him now? Oh, that Easter Beagle, she sighs happily. It was a wonderful Easter after all.